Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on implementing Django admin tools. So Django admin tools is essentially an extra collection of tools that we can utilize with our Django admin interface. So let me give you an example of what you can do with this package. So of course what's going to happen is you'll be able to log into your Django admin page and as you can see here, if I were to zoom in, you will have the opportunity to further index your Django admin dashboard. So as you can see here, we have some drop down menus so we can navigate quickly between all of our apps and also we can navigate between all of our models that are part of those particular apps. We'll also be able to go ahead and drag our dashboard module. So as you can see here, we'll be able to click and drag modules as we prefer. We'll also be able to hide various modules of our dashboard. And as you can see, we have a bit of a different layout as well that comes with this package. So you're going to have a different um, sort of styling and layout to your Django applications as well. And of course, there are some further things that we will also see that we can utilize with this package in terms of indexing, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I just want to zoom out. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you just need to have a simple Django project up and running. So as you can see, if I were to run my server. Okay, so my server is running. Okay, there is my application. You can see I have a simple Django application. I've migrated all of the default modules as well. The, all of the default um, apps, should I rather say, that have been set up and ready to go. So now what we can do is install the Django admin tools package. So I'll stop my server and say pip install Django admin tools. There we go. Perfect. And I will be sure to attach all the links of every resource that I utilize in this video. So not to worry, I'll add that in the description below. So now what we're going to do is we're going to configure Django admin tools. So let's have a deeper look here. Okay, so what we need to do, first of all, is we need to add in the Django admin tools modules to installed apps, and it needs to be above Django contrib admin. So as you can see here, we have a notice here saying that the Django admin tools modules must be before the Django contrib admin module, since Django admin tools is going to override the default Django admin templates. So what you can do is have a look here under installed apps. And as we can see, we have, you want to go ahead and add in anything that says um, admin underscore tools. So I'm going to copy this, go to my settings. My settings .py file, excuse me. Just remove these comments and you want to go to installed apps right here and you just want to paste the following in just like so. So you want to add in these admin tools to your list of installed apps and I would recommend just stopping your server. Okay. Just for the moment. So if your server is running, just stop it because there are things we need to add in first. So once you've added your apps, you're good to go. The next thing that we need to do before we can actually set up our database and migrate it is we need to keep close attention to the following notice, which says here at Windows user juice due to file name restrictions on Windows platforms, you have to put the admin underscore tools template loaders at the very beginning of the list in your templates or template loaders settings variable. Now what we can do is in our settings.py file is we can go to templates right here. And by default, app underscore jurors is set to true. So our templates are going to be dynamic, dynamically loaded automatically. Now for this particular package to work, we need to manually add in loaders, which automatically gets taken care of here with app underscore jurors to true. So in order for this package to work, what we can do is we can either set this to false or we can just comment it out just like so. And then what you're going to have to do is just after context processes, you're going to have to add in loaders here and you need to add it like so. So I've added in the code. So what I can also do is I can actually put this code in as a pinned comment. So you, if you don't want to type this out, so you can take a look here on my screen where it should be. So it should be 
just after context processes. So this is going to allow us to dynamically load our templates. And the most important thing is that admin underscore tools dot template underscore loaders dot loaders is first. So that we can utilize the templates that come along with this package for Django admin. So like I said, just make sure that this comes after your context processors. And I'll also put this code here for loaders within the pinned comment of this video. But you can have a look here and type it all in if you want, you can just have a read. And once you have added that in, we can go ahead to the next step. Perfect. So once you've added in loaders, what you can do is you can go ahead and just say python manage.py migrate. So you want to make all the default migrations that come along with this package. So it should be the dashboard and the menu. Perfect. Next, you want to go to your urls.py file. So this is the urls.py file in your main application. So if I were to close this, let's start from the beginning. So of your Django project, you can head on to urls.py and I'm going to remove these comments. Okay, there we go. And let's head on over to the docs and you can scroll down and here you want to add the Django admin tools to your urls.py file. Now, of course, it's using the old fashioned URL instead of pass. So we need to modify this to use the latest Django variants. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, so we can copy that, go to our application. And I just want to put this in a comment for the moment. And let's see what we need to change. So URL needs to go needs to be a pass. Okay, we don't have this um, R syntax here. We can just remove the R and the following symbol. So we just have admin underscore tools. We need to, we make use of an include function. So here under the, from the django.urls um, module, we can import the include function along with pass and we can remove this as is. So that is what you need. You need to add in this URL. You just need to, you know, give it a bit of a touch up, make it um, compatible for Django 4 and you'll be good to go. All right. Great. So next what we can do is we can just run our server to make sure there aren't any errors. So this is just a good way to just clear all that out. Great. So no errors and we're good to go. So make sure you have no errors before you continue with this video. Great. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and create our super user. So we can say python manage.py create super user. Okay, I'm going to call it admin 101. Email I'll skip, add in a password. So make sure that you create a super user. Great, super user created. And now we can run our server. Right. There we go. And we can head on to our Django application, put in forward slash admin. And you just want to log in with your admin credentials. Perfect. And once you've entered that in, you can say login. And as you can see on the offset, we have a completely different user interface. It looks slightly different. We now have a dashboard. You have the ability to add in bookmarks. So this is something I'd recommend reading as you read through the docs. And as you can see from administration, we have the opportunity to um, go ahead and select our app and of course, then go ahead and select our groups and our users. So as you can see, under the authentication authorization app, we can go ahead and select our user model. And there we can see the list of our users. We can head on back to the dashboard, which is the home page. We can also go ahead and move certain modules. So these are modules here. So quick links, administration, recent action, support, latest Django news. These are modules. And for example, if I want to remove administration here, I can just click and drag this anywhere I prefer. So if I want to move it to the right, I move it to the right. If I want to move it back to the left, I move it back to the left. Let's say I want to hide certain modules just to make more space for other modules. I can click on this drop down here to just move it up, move it down. And I can do that for all of them actually, uh, except this quick links um, one right here. And I can just move it all back. If I want to remove a certain module, I can just go ahead and click on X and that removes it. But now you'll be able to see here where it gets stored. It gets stored in this block here. And what you can do is you can go ahead and drag that particular, you can click on that module, excuse me. So you can click on that module to get it back. So if you close it, 
you click on, you hover over modules and then you have to click on it. So you can't drag it, you have to click on it and then it will bring it back to you. Right, and as you can see, there are some additional things here. So the Django admin uh, dashboard has a few extra things now. So you can now get extra support. So by default, you will have the Django documentation, um, Django users mailing list and Django IRC channel. So you have some support here from Django. You also have the opportunity to link the latest Django news. However, you'll need to install the feed parser Python module. We also have something additional here called quick links. So you can return to your site immediately, change your password and log out. So if you want to do something quickly, you can go ahead and check all of that out. And of course, that is the fundamentals here that we have in terms of utilizing the Django admin tools package. So as you can see, it gives you a little bit more flexibility and allows you to just change a few things here and there. So just a few extra bonus tools such as dragging around, um, some nice and easy simple indexing that you can go ahead and utilize. And as you can see, we'll be able to move our modules around. We can also add in some space. So it helps a lot with this package to improve readability and just improve the performance of your Django admin accordingly. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. So I just wanted to go through the Django admin tools package, which gives you a bit more flexibility in terms of extra tools that you can utilize to further enhance the experience of your Django admin um, panel. So that's it, guys, and thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time.